Voice Today is about breaking the silence and the cycle of child sexual abuse. And one of the biggest and most important things that we can do is make people aware that every child is at risk. So the Voice Today awareness program is to get this issue into the public arena and to get people talking about it. So pieces of the awareness campaign that we currently have produced is our public service announcement. We have three public service announcements that we feel like are gut-wrenching and will be water cooler talk and will help educate people that in the U.S. alone, one in four girls and one in six boys will be sexually abused before their 18th birthday. The second component of the awareness campaign is to produce merchandising, to produce items that people will question. What is that? Why are you wearing that? What does that mean? Our Voice Up t-shirts. Obviously, people wanna know what does Voice Up mean and what are you voicing up about? Perfect entree, perfect opportunity to begin to talk about the issue. We've got our uh, Voice Up cups. Uh, people are all, uh, drinking coffee like crazy these days, so just to have a cup that has voice on it, there again. We actually have a uh, piece of our logo, which is the little face, the exclamation point for the face, and we hope one day that that would be the Nike swish to say, what are you doing about child sexual abuse and how are you helping prevent child sexual abuse? We have our uh, jewelry line. This jewelry line has just been launched with a partnership with Compelling Creations. One of the pieces is the little face. So just by wearing this face, it tells someone uh, that you are doing something about child sexual abuse. Perhaps you're even a survivor, and it's a silent way to make a connection um, just between two strangers about the issue of child sexual abuse. We also have our Break Free piece, which is about breaking free from the cycle of abuse, breaking free from self-destructive behaviors, perhaps just breaking free from something that has held you back in your life to be all that you can be. We have bracelets. You know, these are very popular uh, for a lot of organizations, but there again, they're white, uh, representing the innocence uh, to be able to wear and open up a conversation. What is that about? What does it mean? It says break the silence on it. And that leads me to our whiteout. April 1st, we are asking for the entire world to stand with us and wear white on that day. To wear white in honor of the innocence of a child and to wear white as to be aware that we have to be vigilant about protecting the next generation of children and protecting um, and being able to not only protect but do something to prevent it, to prevent child sexual abuse. It's also honoring uh, the survivors and the innocence that was lost. We have our uh, It's Hard to Open Up brochure. These brochures describe uh, what Voice Today is doing, what our mission is, um, and it's just a very uh, symbolic piece because it says on the cover, it can be difficult to open up about child sexual abuse. We have intentionally made our brochure very difficult to get into. You have to work really hard to pull this label off. You have to be patient, you have to be deliberate, and you have to be focused. And those are the elements that we need in the issue of child sexual abuse. In addition to these items, we are constantly producing, promoting, distributing items to educate people. We have a direct mail campaign. This direct mail campaign ties into our public service announcements. Everything that we produce from a direct mail campaign to a simple desk calendar has on the back reflected uh, the statistics around child sexual abuse and encouraging people to go to voicetoday.org to join the voice movement because we need a movement. We need to mobilize and we need a platform uh, to be able to bring people together around the issue with action, how to take action. A big part of the voice movement and the awareness campaign is to provide resources. And at voicetoday.org, we are working really hard to vet resources, to pull resources together, to pull organizations together, uh, to pull survivors together, because none of us can go back and uh, recapture our innocence or our childhood that was robbed from us in such a heinous way, in such a brutal way, but we can protect the next generation of children. And that's part of the voice movement, is empowering survivors to break their silence, empowering survivors to come into a place of healing, to come into a place of courage, to be able to speak out openly about their own abuse, so that together we can protect the next generation of children.